Something else I thought I'd do is a 1200S update. A um, couple extra things I bought for this. Uh, let's see, it didn't come with a microphone, although they are an option because this is a transmitter and receiver. So I got one off of eBay, it says Regency on it, but it had the exact same plug and works like a charm. So I picked that up for it in an RF sampler. Um, I can watch the uh, audio signal on my scope. And what these two have in common is they're both portable. This has a battery in it and can run on AC, and this has a battery in it and can run on AC as well. So I can take these anywhere I need to go. Which is usually, which is not usual for um, RF equipment, but that's kind of the way I like to do stuff. So, anyway, uh, I bought this like March or April of 2015, so it's not quite a year old, year in my possession, and it's worked perfectly. It's a great system. Uh, there's so much stuff on here I still don't know how to use because I haven't had to use it but it's been terrific. It takes up, the other thing it does is it takes up very little bench space. I mean I've owned all the other equipment that everybody else has for for doing radios. I've had that stuff for years. It just takes up a lot of space. Everything I need is right here in one footprint. It's terrific. It even has a built-in, obviously a built-in oscilloscope. But I like this one, uh, it's got a little more resolution, plus I can do a bunch of extra measurements um, next to the scope plot. So that, that bad boy is, uh, that's a great old scope. And uh, anyway, it's done really well. Um, I don't know if I can tell you anything much new about it. It's, um, it's helped uh, you know, debug these radios very nicely. And this is the first time I've ever owned one. Um, I think it was 1988 this one was built. They're considered, you know, pretty much top of the line for radio work. Um, I've enjoyed it a lot. And ironically, the battery still works fine. I can unplug it and turn it on, on you know, on battery setting. And it just keeps going. So, anyway, it's a, it's a great system. It's, it's just a terrific system. And um, I don't know if there's much else I need to say about it. Uh, so that's basically all I got. The RF sampler was huge. That thing was massively important for getting the, uh, you know, seeing how the audio was characterized on each of these radios because people always screw around with them, you know? Anyway, um, done a lot of radios since then. And uh, there we go, that's a little bit better, less glare. Works great, I highly recommend them. 1200S if you can get them. Uh, there's a level of unit like this below it, one below and one above. But this is fully capable of doing infinitely more than I'm capable of, <laughs> at least with the RF world. Um, you know, tone generators built in, any kind of power meter, it'll do AM, FM, uh, sideband, this is just ridiculous. And uh, this one's been calibrated, so I know my work is accurate. Anyway, uh, just thought I'd do an update on it. Um, it's a great machine, love it, and uh, I highly recommend you get one if you're interested in doing this kind of work, and a scope. Gotta have a scope. Anyway, that's it for now. Happy New Year. See you. Bye.